Hi guys, this is my tutorial for FPLE slash 450 skip slash 350 skip. Um, just a quick note, I'm going to be using Action Replay for this tutorial, just to demonstrate it a little bit quicker and also because that's the way I would actually use to practice this trick, so I want to show you that. Um, the code I'm going to be using mainly is just fly from anywhere, so that's just so I don't have to press the switch over and over again and just waste time in the video doing that. Also, I've got infinite feathers just for demonstrative purposes. Obviously you can't use those codes when you're actually doing this trick in a run. Um, just a quick note, if you need any extra feathers, there's some in here. Uh, this is the Gobi's Lobby. It's where you um, activate the shock spring pad. There's some more feathers in there if you need them. Down these stairs, there's like a little moat with the Grunty statue in the middle of it. There's some feathers in there too. So if you do need extra feathers, that's where you can get them for this trick. So, the, I'll show you the setup for FP early first. You come in from this door. Uh, the blue um, Gruntling over there, you want to kill him if he's in your way. But if he's not, don't try not to go too far out of your way to kill him. And if you're going for really, really good times, don't kill him. But he can get in the way when you're doing this trick, so just be aware of that. I'm going to show you the trick in full before I start using the action replay code to demonstrate. Try and jump around these shoes if you can. Yeah, it's sometimes best to jump all the way to the left there. So you want to grab these shoes. Um, keep in mind if something goes wrong, like you don't grab the shoes or you have some bad movement, you can pause buffer this timer. Which means if you pause and unpause really quickly, the timer actually doesn't go as fast. Yeah, so you can get here a lot quicker. You actually don't need the running shoes if you pause buffer. So I'll show you this trick in full and then I'll go into my explanation. This is FP early, this version of the trick. And then you go straight in. That door would be closed to FP, so that's the point of the trick you get behind that door. Yeah, so this trick is kind of has three uses to get into Frizzy Peak early when the door's closed. It also you can use it to skip the 450 note door and you can use it to skip the 350 note door. So it has basically three uses. I'm just going to kill this guy so he doesn't get in the way. It has basically three uses and it's the same clip each time but different navigation. So that was FP early. Now I'll show you what I do for this trick. Um, what you want to do is basically you come in while the time is on for the fly pad. You've got to be reasonably quick to get it. You can use pause buffering if you're starting to run out of time. What you want to do is like jump and peck to get out of talent right here and walk onto the fly pad. So you want to be facing out from the camera, so forward rather than into the camera. You can do it facing this way, it's just a little bit harder. So my setup, I face forward like this. So looking at the web on the wall here, um, it's just this web about Banjo now, that one there. So looking at that web is my reference, so I'll fly up. Alright, so I'm on the right hand side of the web now. What you'll notice I did when I did the first trick was I turned a really really sharp right here. I turned basically 180 degrees to the right and I faced the door that leads to the tunnel that leads to Frizzy Peak. So that's what I did when I did the trick. Um, then I counted seven flaps. If you don't want to remember all the things and you just want to get straight into practicing it, I'll say seven flaps, but it's a little bit more precise than that. The further right you are, the less amount of time you need flying towards that door to the tunnel. So the further right you are, the closer to seven you want to be. And if you're really far right, you sometimes do even less than seven flaps before turning around to the right again. So yeah, further left you are, the more than seven you need to do. Since I'm on the right hand side of this web, I'll be doing around seven, somewhere between seven and seven and a quarter flaps. By that quarter, I mean a quarter of the way to the eighth flap. So I'll unpause, I'll be doing a sharp 180 degree turn to the right and I'll be counting seven and a quarter flaps roughly. Then once I count that seven and a quarter flap, I'll be turning right again, 90 degrees to the right. So then I'll be facing the slope 
And the whole point of that whole seven flat thing is just to set up your camera for this trick. So I'll be facing towards the slope after my seven and a quarter flap. Then I want to count up to the ninth flap and I start holding down on my joystick. I do it very I do it very much by feel from this point. So it's not always the ninth flap. That's just what I'd say if I had to give a setup. Probably eight and a half is good just to be safe. So it's very much by feel. I don't just hold back on the ninth flap and that's it and I get it every time. I do have to kind of alternate between holding down and not holding at all. So by holding back, I do mean holding down so Banjo's nose goes up. So again, you just want to be holding R to do these sharp turns and I kind of let go of R. I don't hold R as I'm doing the trick. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, turn, 8, 9, hold back, jiggle it around, and hopefully I get it. Hold R and left, 1, 2, 3, 4. Four, big bump upwards, use as many as you can without going in bounds, and go through the loading zone, which I'll pretend to go through, and then you would be in for easy thing. Obviously, don't fly out of this door to go into the loading zone when you do FPL. So, I kind of did that nav really quickly to get into FP, but my main point is how to do the clip rather than the navigation. So, when I'm doing that whole seven flap thing, I fly towards this door, I fly towards the left side of the door, so basically the left side of the left eye, the left red eye is where I'll look at. So that's just a good reference there. Then you do sharp turn right, 8, 9, pull back which is down on the joystick, and hopefully you get the clip. It is a hard clip, it took me like all day to get one or two clips when I first started trying, but hopefully this resource will help you get a bit quicker than that. A lot less. 3, 4, 5, 6, turn, because I was really far right, so I did it turn a lot earlier. Hold on left, 1, 2, 3, 4, maybe 5, and then big bummer. Probably 5 feathers is better there. Uh, I can use a feather here because I won't go back in. I'll show you what happens if you do go back in. It's bad, don't do it, because the door will be closed there, so you can't get in, and you need to do the clip again. So if you wanted to do the clip again, you'd want to, uh, you want to, like, jump all the way up to here, not fly, and then um, hit the switch, and then you have to do the whole thing again. So yeah, the navigation to get into FP, that is hold R and left, four or five feathers, big bum up, just make sure you don't clip in. I think my camera is actually zoomed weirdly here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, turn, two, pull back. Probably pull back a little bit earlier than nine. Nine's just what I'd say if I had to give a setup for it. I do it by feel. Uh, that's way too far left, so I'll do a lot more than seven. Yeah, that was a bit silly. I pressed A instead of B. Being so far left kind of put me off there. So I'll do one more nav into FP, then I'll do the one into 450 no door. 4, 5, 6, 7, turn 8, 9, probably pull back at 8.5, not 9, hold R, hold left, 4, 5, probably use 5 feathers, uh, get an extra flap here if you can, otherwise your camera you can't really see the door, one here, then another one to get into the loading zone, the loading zone goes a little bit lower than the path, so you can get into it without being in bounds, but do try and get in bounds in this little path behind the door. Uh, definitely don't press your A too early and get in front of this door there. Can actually do two big bombs and big bomb into the door, but I really wouldn't recommend that. That's just silly. You'd lose so much time if you miss it. Um, yeah, it takes about 45 seconds to redo this, so you don't want to, you want to try and get as good as you can at this. I actually get more worried about this trick than I do door of Grunty Skip which might seem crazy if you know what the tricks feel like, but it's just because this one takes so long to retry. So you need about 10 feathers to get into FP. This next one that I'll show you is 450 note door skip. The 450 note door is up there. We don't have 450 notes at this point in any percent, so we need to skip it. Um, so 450 note door skip is the exact same clip. Um, I use about seven here, three, four, five, six, seven, actually and a little bit more because I'm more left. Get in there. Now that was 
a mixture of two things as to why that didn't work. Your camera needs to kind of be looking down on this slope, rather, you don't want it to be looking straight side on at this slope. And also, Banjo, he might have been facing too far, like, he might have been rotated facing too far to the left. And also, I might have been a little bit too high up the slope. So it really depends on your camera angle, because Big Bomb goes to the center of your camera angle, among other things. It's, it's, there's a lot of things that have to go right. I will do less here, four, five, six turn. Less here, because I was further right. Um, I don't know quite the cause of that one. I think it has something to do with you facing too far left when he hits the ground and bleeds out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven turn. Hold R, hold right here. Use quite a lot of feathers. Wait till Banjo's over the door and then you want a big bump. So that trick, I think around the minimum that you'd want is 16 feathers. I'd still be really nervous trying it if I only had 16 feathers. But when you do that trick in any percent, it's about at the point where you've gotten most of the feathers that you'll be able to get. You probably get between five and 10 more before Grunty. And when I got into the Grand T fight, I have like 20 feathers. So I'll probably have 10 feathers left after I do this trick, meaning I start it with about 26 feathers. So yeah, 16, if you have less than about, if you have less than 20 feathers, I'd be wanting to get more. But you do want to get those four feathers by the shock spring pad near Frizzy Peak when you come out of Frizzy Peak, so they would have respawned. So yeah, just make sure you have about 20. More than, more the better, really. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, a bit, turn. Hold R, hold right. Make sure you hold right enough, otherwise it's possible to void out. Now you can actually go past that door with your beat bump. The more common way to go past that door is not going high enough. Like, beat bumping into that door is a lot higher than it looks like it is. You don't have to big bomb into that door. There's no real requirement for you to do that. It's just a little bit quicker. So if you do want to just uh, keep going and just fly into the door normally, uh, do that because it doesn't really waste that much time not to do the big bomb. And if you do big bomb at the door, you go past the door if you don't have the right height. It's kind of hard to get the wrong uh, horizontal aim with that, but it is easy to get the wrong height. So you end up out of bounds around this point, just outside this wall. Uh, now this, you don't want to go in bounds, obviously, otherwise you have to do the clip again. And you don't want to void out, otherwise you have to do the clip again. Going in bounds here and voiding out can be a little bit close for comfort. So I definitely try to get the big bomb into this door. Uh, if I have any doubts, I just don't big bomb at all, because it's really hard to miss it if you don't big bomb, but it's e easier to miss it if you do big bomb. Try and get used to beat bombing it though. Like, especially in practice when you're just gonna... Like, if you're practicing this, you're gonna get through the door, but then you're gonna walk out again and just practice it again. So always try beat bombs in those, just to get used to it. Anyway, I'll do probably just one more, just to show you again. Again, the nav for 450 skip is you get in that slope, you hold R, you hold right. Uh, make sure you don't hold... Make sure you hold right enough, otherwise you can void out there. You can't hold too far right, because you'll just end up under this area. And since you're so far down, if you're under this area, you won't go back inbounds unless you fly up really high and you're under this area. So yeah, you almost can't go too far right. Try not to though, otherwise it's harder to navigate. You almost can't go too far right, but you just don't want to avoid that. A bit more than seven here, because I was so far left. Seven, almost to eight there, because I was so far left. So I'm not sure if I mentioned it in this take of the tutorial, but you want to get hooked kind of to the left of this black line and you want to slide down a little bit before you press B. So you don't want to press B just as you're hitting the slope basically, you want to get hooked on the slope and slide down. You want to make sure your shadow is roughly almost completely off the slope 
I don't know exactly where the shadow reference is, but that's how it feels when you do it. You don't want Banjo to kind of be more up on the slope, you want it to be more on the side of the slope, just barely hooked on. It's kind of hard to describe, but once you do it, you'll get the feel for it. Less, a bit less, because I'm so far right. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and pull back. Hooked on there, wait for it to go press B, hold R, hold right. Don't hold not enough to the right. Wait till he's over here, and then big bump. Yeah. Alright, so I think I'll leave it there. So it is a hard trick. It took me like a whole day to get it only one or two times when I was first trying. And it can be really off-putting when you first start running any percent this trick. It's just, it's, it's pretty consistent. Like, if I had any other trick about two-thirds consistency, I'd be really happy. It's just that it takes 45 seconds to retry, and you have to do it twice in any percent. If you really hate it, you should run Sandcastle percent because you only have to do it once, and it's really fun. But anyway, so that's... Hopefully you can get a bit more consistent at it. Leave a comment if you're still having trouble with it, and I'll try and help you out. Um, I'm sure there's things that I've forgotten since when I started doing it, so I hope that I mentioned as much as I can. Again, you want to fly up, you want to hold R to turn around. Um, probably keep holding R, then you want to hold R, turn 90 degrees, and I usually let go of R at that point, and then just pull back. So yeah, leave a comment if you're still having trouble, and thanks for watching.